This shit hurts. Break, do you feel the boss, man? Do you feel the boss? Hey, what's going on guys? So I just want to take you guys through a little voiceover of my bench press workout. So I am following the Kaizen workout program. This is like the six week free bench program. So with any program, I kind of tend to just follow the compound movements and kind of veer off after the compound movement. So today was just a six by three with 85%. So this is 260 pounds on the bar. Went very smoothly, even though the weight did feel heavy, but just watching the clips, it moved pretty fast. So I was pretty satisfied with it how it went. Um, then after this, I really wanted to work on something different because usually I do incline press after my bench press and you know I didn't feel like doing that today. I want to do something different and then I was watching a lot of YouTube videos on something that's going to help improve my bench press and now what do you guys think that is? Let's see. E uh, yes, is the floor press. This is what's going to help me build a bigger bench press. It's going to work on my tricep strength, shoulder strength, my chesticle strength, um, but I really like this movement and how I'm doing this is I'm doing reps of, I think, five. I did like three by five with 225 pounds, and I made sure I paused at the bottom, waited till my elbows touched the ground, and then exploded up right after that. So this obviously is just gonna help the top, um, top half of the bench press where a lot of people get stuck, and which is where I get stuck. So I get stuck, as you see here, right there. Yeah, so as soon as my elbows touch, that's kind of the spot where I get stuck. So um, I'm just blasting through my weaknesses, you know, just blasting right through weakness so this is what's going to help build a bigger and stronger bench presses which i'm trying to go for i'm trying to go for like maybe 325 at the end of this program so we'll see how that goes and after this just did burnout set 135 pounds but that was the bench press workout hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to like the video and subscribe if not already let's continue on peace <sighs> Why do you like get so worried? It's like someone stabbed you. There's the pizzas. Yeah, well, my phone flew out of the car, so yeah, it's not like the greatest thing that ever happened. It's not the worst thing that's ever happened. This is the greatest thing. Mmm. Mmm. The pineapple pizza? Pineapple pizza for my pineapple top head. Hot. Ooh. all those pizzas, you gotta, you gotta work that off. You can't just, you can't just eat about 1,700, 1,700 calories, 6,000 grams of sodium, and not work out the next day because you're gonna feel a hell of bloated. I gotta go work out today. Scratch. It feels so weird because it's on your elbows and it's like you go like this and it's just... Good thing you have those elbow sleeves. Yeah, my elbow sleeves. Elbow. But I'm gonna try it. It's not in me, it's not in me. It's my first time ever doing surgery squats too. Hit depth on that. <laughs> so loud. What? You're yelling. Did I hit depth? I don't think so. I don't think so. I did. 
I thought you were gonna get stuck. I thought so too, but. <laughs> or I thought your veins were gonna explode in your eyes. Ah. I definitely didn't get that. No, let's no. watch it. <laughs> let's not watch it. <laughs> let's not. After watching the footage, I'm gonna say that I definitely did not hit depth at 315. So that's not gonna count. So best I did today was 275 for a double. So I'm just gonna drop it down. 225 pounds with these Zercher squats and see how that goes. Hopefully my elbows don't fall off because man, that shit like that shit hurts. If you ever done Zercher squats, do them just so you know what it feels like because it does not feel good. And I see guys doing like 405 with it. I'm like, how? Like literally. Like, you must have some strong ass elbows, but we're gonna hit up 225 for 3x3 three three or like 3x5, and uh, then we're gonna do some other like stuff. So, let's see how it goes. Mm. So, you finish up that workout, and we just say, search squats. <laughs> there. So if you ever think about doing search or squats, make sure you just have something on your elbows because honestly that shit fucking hurts. Uh, but just finish it up. Search or squats are good because it's going to build up my deadlifts. kind of helps with back strength, the lower back strength. Actually the whole entire back are holding it up like this. Uh, and then again just like hip drive. So that's another thing that's going to help my deadlift. Build that up. And then after that, I was going to do a 3x3 three three, but I did one set with 225 and I took the L on it and I was I couldn't do it. So then I went and did some leg press and got a huge burn in my quads, just like like the feeling you get like when you're doing legs and you feel like you want to throw up, that's what I got. So I felt like shit, but you know, that's why we train. You feel like shit during, but then afterwards you feel great. So that was the workout. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do you feel the